What are logs? Where do they come from? Where do they go? And what is their purpose? And does excessive logging damage the e-environment? Logs are events that are stored in a system file, normally called a log file. Many things can generate log files, such as firewalls, routers, applications, operating systems, IDSs, access control software, DLP. I think you get the idea. Think of it like this. Every activity you do, turning on the light switch, turning on the TV, picking up a remote. Everything generates a log file. But the challenge here becomes that amongst all these logs, how do you make any sense of it? You've got hundreds and thousands of logs. It's a case of too much data and not enough information. So the question becomes, how do we make sense of all these masses of data? First of all, we have to gather all the logs together and put them all together into one location. Generally from different systems, even these log files will contain similar types of information, such as time, IP address, host name, and so on and so forth. Think of it a bit like a game of Cluedo, where it's like, who done it? It was Professor Plum in the library with the candlestick. So you've got all your logs in one place. Congratulations. Now it's just a simple case of correlating, normalizing, equifying, standardizing, synthesizing, digitizing, and a bit of wizardry on top. What this does is essentially strip off all the unnecessary data and put everything into one common format. And it becomes a bit more simple to understand. It's, it's like the green code of the matrix suddenly starting to make sense. Whoa. So whereas when you're looking at an individual log file, you'll see one person trying to access an area that he's not allowed access to. But once you pull in logs from everything and you correlate them all, you can see the same user tried to open multiple doors and was denied access to everything. So then it begins to make a bit of sense. You can set that as an alarm. Why is one person repeatedly trying to get any access to stuff that he has no access to? It's not to say that that is a malicious act. It could be a legitimate user who's just forgotten his password across all the systems or something, but it raises an alert that's worthy of being investigated a bit further. Normally on these systems, you can set up alerts to, to tell you when something is out of the ordinary. So TV being on, remote in hand, could be something very normal. However, if you end up someone dancing in the room, it might be cause for concern. Aside from raising alerts, all this correlated and aggregated data is, is quite useful. You can produce pretty graphs and show how things happened and baseline activity and do all sorts of other wizardry with it. You can use it all for compliance purposes. Nothing keeps an auditor happier than throwing him six months worth of logs. Better still, all of this masses of big data is a treasure haven for forensic investigators looking to mine the fields of your logs, looking for those clues as to how the Chinese got in in the first place. Of course, the applications are only limited by your imagination and technology and budget and storage. But aside from that, it's unlimited and what you do with logs and how you utilize the power is all up to you. Stay secure, my friends. Well, they've got some security issues, right? Nothing's ever going to be 100% you mean they're serving mixed content? Exactly.